Okay, just know I have a Halloween shirt on. You can't see it. That well, I'll like go like this here. Hi guys. <laughs> hey guys, is this okay? I'll just staple it back, okay? <laughs> just know I'm wearing a Halloween shirt, okay? Okay. Hello everyone. So today I am here to do my spooky October TBR. Um, so today I have a realistic TBR and then I have a giant stack of books in case I somehow read. I do feel like October is consistently my best reading month. I constantly read like 30 books in October because I hoard every single horror book and thriller for the entire year to read in October and then I panic and I have to read every single one in 30 days <laughs> or 31 days. So this time I have a realistic TBR that I will actually get to and then I have a maybe this will happen <laughs> other TBR. So let's get into it. Firstly, the book that I'm currently in the middle of, that I think I should be done before the end of this, like, before this video even comes out. I've actually already started on my TBR. I've already read Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoke, The Need, Summer Suns, The Maidens, and Hummingbird Salamander. And then I'm currently in the middle of Empire of the Vampire, and this is Jay Kristoff's, like, paranormal fantasy Vamp vampire. <laughs> I feel like vampires count as spooky, so... This was on my TBR, we're just reading in September rather than October because if we tried to read this on October, nothing else would it's get read. 27 hours 27 long. hours for an audiobook. I mean, we were gonna listen in 13 and a half, but... 27, 27 hours! hours. <laughs> so we're reading this one in September. And then my number one have to read, I don't have an audiobook for it, so I have to read it physically, um, is Salem's Lot by Stephen King. This is the king that I just... I have decided is going to be my read for October. I read The Shining and Pet Cemetery last year and I ended up really enjoying them. I found them to be very atmospheric and perfect for the spooky season. Um, I ended up reading both of those in September though, which is why I kind of wanted to say my king for October because I think it's just going to be a perfect atmosphere to get me into the autumn mood. So more vampires. More vampires. <laughs> more vampires. So that's my king for this year. All right, and then I have a classic. I have been really excited to read this one in October for a while, like since I bought it. Um, and that is Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. Um, and yeah, this is obviously, I feel like the epitome, like this is the book for gothic literature. Um, and I'm, I love gothic literature. I'm a huge fan of it. Um, it's because like Jane Eyre is considered gothic and stuff like that. I love gothic tropes and like Again, the atmosphere of gothic classics. So very, very excited to read this one as well. I've never read it before, and I feel like people are constantly recommending me this one. So this is also on my TBR. All right, and then another one that I have to read physically because there does not seem to be an audiobook that exists for this is Rings by Koji Suzuki. This is a book that has been on my TBR for to read during spooky season for probably three years now um and I'm finally just gonna do it because I finally have a copy because I stole this from Haley <laughs> so mine, <laughs> so I'm really excited though because I have seen the movie but I've been told by so many people that this is their favorite horror novel favorite Japanese novel favorite novel in general so I am so ready to be spooked by this you might watch the Japanese movie if we can yes. find it I want to watch the Japanese movie for sure so very excited about this one all right, and then I have a book that I'm also very, very excited to read. I've never really heard anyone talk about this, but whenever I go to Second and Charles, this person has like 900 books, and I'm just like, oh, if I like this book by her, then I have so many books to put on my TBR, and that is Parasite by Darcy Coates. Again, I've never actually heard of her, and now I see her books everywhere, so um, this I heard about from Riley Marie, and she was just talking about this as like a new horror book that she picked up, and it's basically about, you know, parasitic aliens that wears its victim skins and adopts their personality, which sounds like The Thing. And The Thing is my favorite, um, I'd say The Thing is, like, one of my favorite movies. It's my favorite horror movie. Um, I'd say it's, like, Parasite. Train to Busan. Yeah, it's, like, my favorite movies are Parasite, Train to Busan, and The Thing. I'd say those are my top three movies. And yeah, I'm super excited for this one. I think it sounds really cool. The way it's written is really interesting too because it's kind of 
like short stories but not really so i'm interested i again i also really want to ho i hope i love this so i have nine million more books to read by this lady next up i have catherine house by elizabeth thomas and this is a book that is very very polarizing people either absolutely love it or absolutely hate it and i hope i love it it is dark academia and it keeps getting described as super super weird so bizarre have you read it yes oh okay that was why i recommended it to you i yeah. am the middle ground i gave it 3.75 <laughs> i'm i'm super excited for it because i do good. it's very good <laughs> i love dark well no i shouldn't say i love dark academia i do really like a lot of dark academia and again this is always described as super weird and i love polarizing books because i i think i've said this before my least favorite thing is giving a book three stars i cannot stand giving a book three stars I would rather give a book zero stars than three stars because three stars means I am not even going to remember I read this book in about a week. At least one star or zero star books, I like actually remember them because I fucking hated them. Um, I like when books are either five stars or one star. That's my favorite types of rating. So this one I have on audio, I think, but I also do have it physically to check out. I kept telling everyone, I was like, if you like Bunny... Yes, and if you like I Never love Night, Bunny. You will probably. I love like Bunny that. and Never Night. Bunny yeah. is also <laughs> one of my favorite books. So, and then me and Haley are going to do a buddy read of Six Four by Hideo Yokoyama. This is a Japanese thriller. I'm so excited about this one. I feel like after I bought it, I suddenly started seeing it everywhere. Like I feel like I just saw it in bookstores. I saw people talking about it. I don't know what it is about 2021. Everyone's suddenly picking up this book. But yeah, this is a Japanese thriller. And the thing that I hear a lot about it is that, like, yes, it's an awesome thriller and, like, thriller mystery kind of thing, but it actually talks a lot about, like, the Japanese police force and, like, Japanese society, um, which is what I'm really interested in from this book. So, super excited to read this one. It's a big one, though. The audiobook is also really, really long. So, um, we're gonna buddy read so this one. Another, another long really audio. long audio. I think it's like a 20 hour audio. Oh, no. oh, I forgot to say all of the ebooks and audiobooks. Might be. Um, I also really want to read Yellow Jessamine and The Death of Jane Lawrence. These are both by Caitlin Starling. I already have Yellow Jessamine. It's an ebook, um, and it's a short story. It's only like 100 pages. Did you say she and have yeah, she Yeah, it's a, just a short story. And then Jane, The Death of Jane Lawrence is coming out in October and I 100% want to read that that's like those are on my like have to read TBR for sure and then also oh my god I have two more that I also really want to read <laughs> I'm realizing how much bigger the CBR <laughs> is um I also really want to read the twisted ones by T. King Fisher um I have that and I have the hollow places but I hear the twisted ones are better no the hollow, no, places, the hollow is places is better, better? What? 100%. But the Hollow Places is the one I put on your list. Oh, I thought it was the Twisted one. No. Okay, <laughs> They're both that. good. The, the Hollow, Hollow Places. Places is better. I want, I'll read both of them. They're, all, they're only like seven hour audiobooks. They're short. And I also want to read Madam by... I don't remember who it's by, no. but I want to read Madam. It sounds really good. I keep hearing about it and I hear it's super atmospheric. So, those are also some audiobooks and ebooks that I do not own physically that I want to read for spooky season. Wow, the CBR is way longer than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I also have a Chinese thriller that I'm really excited to get to, and that is The Borrowed by Chen Hokai. Oh, we're into books that, these are the books that I will read if I actually finish this. This is my actual TBR. This is what I'm aiming to finish during October, the, realistically. These are the books that I want to get to if I somehow finish all of these, which I don't think I will. But I want to read The Borrowed by Chen Hokai. This is a Chinese thriller that takes place in Hong Kong, and it sounds amazing. So I've had this on my list for so long, too. So very excited about this one. I don't really know what it's about. It's been on my TBR for a very long time, though. And then I also have the Aosawa Murders by Riku Onda, and this was sent to me by a subscriber I'm very thankful for, but then also everyone kept telling me all of a sudden that I need to read this. I think I put it on my Instagram, or I hauled it somewhere, and so many people were like, oh my god, Kate, you have to read that, you are going to love this. This is another Japanese thriller. I do find I like Japanese thrillers so much better than Amer like Western ones, because Western ones just have gotten so boring and so tropey and just it's always about a woman who's an alcoholic and her husband kills someone like that's literally every single western thriller ever <laughs> and i'm sick of it japanese stories are always really fucked up and i always really like them a lot more so 
this one I really want to get to also. Um, and then I have just two more thrillers. I have The Stranger Behind You by Carol Goodman. This is just a classic... Actually, no, I remember this one sounding really interesting because it sounds very, uh, like, timely because it's about a woman who gets, like, brutally attacked and, like, sexually assaulted and she's, like, traumatized and suffering and she believes that it is, like, a big-name, like, politician and she basically has to, like, out it as him but then also she's, like... People are trying to quiet her down about it, so that sounds good. And then this random book that I picked up at Half Price Books, The Kalminski Heights. This is a, um, wow, Philip Pullman says it's the best thriller I've ever read. <laughs> it takes place in Siberia, the Siberian hell lost in endless night. And basically anything, any thriller that has to do with, like, being at a, like, a research station or in the middle of Antarctica or the snow or something reminds me of the thing, so I'm gonna pick it up. So, these are my other two kind of random thrillers I have. Oh god, I didn't even say all the ebooks that are on my, oh, maybe TBR. I'm not gonna go into this. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. This is already overwhelming. Okay. Um, anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed my spooky TBR. Um, definitely tell me down in the comments below if you've read any of the books that I mentioned today, as well as what your top spooky books that you want to read in October. Again, the reason I am coming back to booktube is literally for spooky season. Spooky season is my favorite for reading. I will always say I equally like Halloween and Christmas. I'm like one of those people that doesn't actually have a favorite, but spooky season is my favorite for reading. So I'm a little bit biased. So yeah, I'm so excited. I'm really excited to make content for you guys about spooky season. You guys will be getting vlogs mostly, I think, but yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed the spooky TBR. Tell me your sound in the comments below and I love y'all and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.